గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ అడ్డుకోలే సౌండ్ సౌండ్ ఎక్కడ అడ్డుకోరు గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఓకే నా కెన్ యూ హియర్ మీ హలో ప్లీజ్ లెట్ మీ నో దట్ యూ కెన్ హియర్ మీ ఎస్ ఓకే థ్యాంక్ యూ వెరీ మచ్ ఎస్ okay we'll come back to the second semester of your program master of business accounting and finance in this uh, actually in this semester i take the responsibility and uh, resource person of project in accounting or finance course unit b mbacc 52104 or those who are following the finance program mb fin 52104 because this is a combined course unit even though they you select that uh, finance course or either finance course or the accounting you should follow this is compulsory course unit. just starting that uh, overall structure and contents and objectives and learning outcome of this course i just want to tell you that now now today that uh, already uploaded everything to the lms page therefore you know as you did uh, the previously for my accounting subject this is also completely as par with that our objectives of online program the all details all activities are going on through this technology therefore no hard copies uh, will be provided and uh, and no assignments will be accepted through the counters hard copies all are available and now it this is the first hour of the first uh, lecture the all activities are already uploaded therefore you go to your lms page and just read it and you can understand what i am going to do and what you should do during this two months period or three months period actually for end of the period the last uh, submission of that final report should be 31st uh, march sorry 31st january 2017 today we are in early november november december january end of january you should submit everything and complete your work and not so that complete your degree too one happy news is that always that you concern about that examination there is no examination no for this course unit no paperwork no examination paper will be given to you and no 3 hour papers only based on activities but a lot of activities you should do therefore you cannot start that your activities at the end at the end that means if you feel that yes i want to do my activities at the end, end of january i do not follow any lecture for la, th- this coming 3 months therefore i do all my activities at the end of january if you think now change your 
thinking you should you should every week you should follow that all lectures and also you should submit sometimes that first five activities of that assignment one will be submitted you should submit that your activities just after the lecture that means that today we have the first lecture after the first lecture you should submit the first activity of that assignment one there are five assignments 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 including that final report 5 out of that five the first one there are five portfolio activities activities therefore within that five weeks time before uh, that means the 10th before 10th of december you should submit that five weeks time you should submit all your five activities all five activities after the first lecture i do that introduction lecture today all details i discuss with you any problems you can discuss with me lot of time available lot of materials are available to read therefore what you have to do is just after the first lecture today you should submit that first activity i will guide you i will tell you what you have to do you follow me at the end of the first lecture easily you can submit your your activity one your activity one okay one by one day by day lecture by lecture you improved your the research ability this is not a research work you 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 don't born to do that full research if you want to continue the research this will be helpful for you that is another part but anyway this is compulsory work you you have to do some research area and select that research area you should prepare a proposal type document and at the end of the final uh, uh, the end of january you have to submit that final report there is no exam as i said before only the four assignment you have to five assignment four assignments and the final report should be submitted don't worry this is an easy task but if you follow the lectures day by day it is very easy but not like that other course units not like that other subjects you may think other subjects are very easy because you sometimes you don't want to follow the lectures you can go you just uh, read your notes or read your the available documents and go to the exam and do the assignments and you can pass it but uh, this subject is completely different you should read more this is a student oriented subject not teacher oriented teacher only guides you teacher only guides you to do this how to do this actually my lectures based on your submissions today i don't have any submissions therefore i do my lectures today continuously but after the first lecture the second third fourth fifth lecture based on your submissions i discuss with you by taking each and every submissions if you if there are 30 40 submission sometimes that i cannot take that whole 30 40 each and every submissions but i randomly select few and take uh, and discuss with you for the help of the other students as well as that particular student their weaknesses and strength and how to improve it one by one i take therefore once you submit once you submit you can get that feedback from me very next week very next week 
but if you do not submit you cannot get that feedback i take that other person's feedback other person's submission and give me give my feedback then she or he can immediately after my comments they can incorporate it and they can improve their uh, document therefore i request each and every student always on time you submit your as uh, document submit your document is luckily if i select that your document you are lucky if i don't select the sometimes you may think yes my one is not selected therefore i am lucky no if your one is select your one is selected you are lucky because i give my comments to that particular assignment then you can improve it you can incorporate it and improve it and that one, that will be helpful for your final report the all 1 2 3 4 4 is part of that final report not that separate assignment 1 2 3 4 assignments are the part of that final report the final report means that Uh, the combined document of all assignments that include some more but particularly and uh, 1 2 3 4 uh, the after complete com completion of 1 2 3 4 assignment automatically you can submit the final report on time and according to my experience this is the third uh, third time i do i take this uh, lecture series project in accounting uh, by doing this lectures too that, that uh, i myself happy instead of but i do that some accounting lectures the previously why i do not happy with that uh, the my lectures on accounting because it is technical technical part of the theory theory and the technically and practical part i have to do but here this is not this is not uh, th there, there should be some theories but uh, i work with the people because i comment on your submission i don't have any notes i don't have any uh, uh, the materials with me now but my experience by doing this i help i guide you to improve your research work and i will i will tell you how to improve yourself how to improve you by your research your research ability all materials are available everywhere nowadays it is very easy because nowadays all documents are are online in kalanya university we have e library e library you you can get the access of the e library by go, going to, going to the e library you don't want to go to the library now to the physically enter to the library but e library is in front of you now you can go to the e library and you can download any article free of charge world famous all journals are now available free of you as a postgraduate student you have already paid your course fees and the library fees and e library fees therefore now it is available for you free of charge there are some articles that you have to pay but uh, that free articles are available that is enough for your this course and this subject therefore if you don't have that uh, e library password please take the library library password immediately by sending that email to the library and uh, or contact that your coordinator and you can get that access but because that e library facilities are much important to do this research, this subject work this subject work okay and this is just just introduction 
before introduction the subject i just tell you a few words and these are my details i don't think that it is now you are familiar with my email telephones everything and news forum always you have to go to the news forum every day every week and see whether that what is happening what any news and course outline the primary objective of this course is to provide understanding the research problems particularly in relation to the discipline of accounting and finance therefore the main objective is to provide the understanding the research work how to do a research and how to collect that research article literature review the fundamental things sometimes it is the very first time that you may have this ex this type of experience sometimes you may have completed the, your the research work in, for for your first degree but the, some students it will be the first experience of doing a research but here i always encourage you to do a research work in the field of accounting and finance not any other works therefore don't select that research areas any other from any other areas select that discipline of accounting and finance there are a lot of finance areas available accounting areas available and after doing this research after doing this course actually you may understand critically a press relevant academic and research literature analytical framework for accounting develop data acquisition and management skills in the area of accounting and research and you could see now i take that first five lectures continuously and week one there is no activity but after the week two the second week you have to submit activity one it is if you have i will if you open the activity one drop box today therefore once you complete that you have first lecture week one you can submit it and this week two i take that uh, your submissions of week one and give you my feedback for selected submissions and like likewise that week 3 we have to submit account activity 2 week 4 activity 3 and week 5 activity 4 and week 6 submit activity 5 and week 6 after week 6 we have a workshop electronic workshop that means the online workshop there are few lecturers group of lecturers will participate i hope we have already invited one professor from australian university professor joseph mola will participate with us to this workshop
physically he will be in sri lanka and on this end of week 7 that is actually on december 10th i think december 10th saturday he will participate with us this uh, the electronic workshop to improve your then after after this uh, this is the week 7 and week uh, after the week 6 that you may have few knowledge of some sort of knowledge of the your research work because you have already submitted uh, the all five activities therefore you have you have already selected your topic and do some literature therefore you may have some some sort of knowledge of your research work therefore you can participate this e workshop you don't want to for uh, come physically to the classroom if you like that you can come to the classroom don't worry no worries but if you do not have time to participate for physically to the classroom but you can participate online with group of lecturers and then group of lecturers will comment you uh, i myself and the visiting professor uh, australian professor he works in the university of southern queensland and now retired professor and uh, he uh, uh, and also then some prof- uh, the some professors from accounting and finance field in our university and doctors will participate this e workshop and after the week 7 you have to submit again week 8 literature review 18th december 2016 and week 9 10 for analyzing the sampling of field work and analyzing the research data and 10 11 you have to submit the conceptual framework 27 december and after that 12 13 14 15 ah uh, you have to present your project reports draft project report that four weeks end of 10th week then after that you have to present your work individually this is not a group work individually you have to present your draft proposals and finally final project paper should submit by 31st january 2017 that then the last one clear and we have a lot of works individually you have a lot of work and we have a lot of work i not only myself do the lectures sometimes that uh, the group of lecturers as i said before or few other lecturers will come and will join with us and improve to improve your assignments and activity work the all presentation sometimes that you may have to if i like if you can sub uh, the physically come to the classroom and present it or otherwise i encourage you to do e presentation online presentation are allowed it is not compulsory to come to the classroom and present it e presentation is allowed therefore you can do your presentation individually i take that all i don't know how many people now registered for the semester 2 if if it is more than 50 it doesn't matter i take one by one given at least 15 to 20 minutes for each student at least one presentation within this four week time if we have time we can take that two presentations but at least one presentation each of each student should do it before end of the week 15 and no extension for 31st january 31st january you plan i have already planned my i present my plan now is put in your diary these dates 
and start your work and plan it to submit 31st January 2017. Because that all students always ask, sir, no extensions. Now we are in the first week. This plan is for next 15 to 16 weeks. But all, always I know that your mind, okay, can't I get that extension? Very, very first week you ask that extension. You, you, I know that you, in your mind, oh, oh can't we get extension to the February month? You, you don't have any work for next uh, three, three months. But again, always you ask from me uh, extension. No extensions. Plan and complete your work by 31st January 2017 and present it, submit your final report, and go home. That is the end of the, your course, as well as your program. Then examination, I think, in February month. Then do your exam and complete your work on time. And January, sorry, March, you can get the results, and the convocation will be held on June. It's over. Therefore, Put your diary, okay. write the, these dates in your diary, plan it and complete your degree and get that your next promotion. And these are the marks. Activity 1, all 5 activities, 10%, 10 marks. And literature review, 10% 10, 10, 10 mark, conceptual framework, 10 marks, and final research presentation, 30, not 30, it should be 20, I think, 30, yes, 20 marks, and submission final report, 50 marks. Okay. administration and I am the course leader and all lectures 9 to 12 Sunday all news always you see the news where announcements are made uh, that are important to read Introduction, assignment one, as I said, submit end of every first to one to five week. Assignment two, assignment two, by 18th December, that is the literature review. 10%. Assignment 3, conceptual framework, again 10%. 27th December 2016. Assignment 4, presentations, no, 30 marks. Final report, 40 marks, 40%. Yes, this one is correct. 27th January 2017. Assignment 1 is activity 1 by 1. I, I explain to you later on. I take the uh, first activity today and do uh, 
explain to you later on and you can start that work from today assignment 2 is uh, actually the literature review maximum of 2000 words excluding references assignment 3 Ten percent is a, another work. Assignment four: pre presentation and e presentations. Individually, you have to present it, and final report is five thousand word. End of January two thousand seventeen. students should attempt all pieces of ass assignments 1 2 3 4 and final report and must achieve aggregate marks of 50% aggregate of 50% no extensions and sometime that uh, some student i know there is a due date for each and every assignment as well as each and every activities the the all activities drop box of each and every activities will be closed on due dates therefore you have to submit your assignments before closing the gates but some student they always try to submit after the due dates and stop and just send to my email drop box and say now so assignment drop box is already closed now i i send my my assignment to your drop box your inbox to my jayamahaklnnc.lk now i just delete it i cannot mark for individually you you submit that your assignments to my email drop box email inbox don't submit it if you submit i just delete it i even i i just want to read it because that normally i received 25 30 40 uh, the uh, the emails for my other works therefore i cannot uh, read that your assignment through that uh, email and also now i cannot uh, give marks for email to submissions that once you submit that your assignment is available in your account in your dropbox account no one can delete it no one can delete it even i cannot go to your inbox your dropbox and delete it only the administrator can the administrator administrator normally doesn't do it therefore once you submit the your document to my email my personal email i cannot resubmit to your account i don't have facility therefore don't do it don't do it you try it you manage it you manage your works to submit your work uh, during the opening be before the due dates okay therefore you plan it to submit your document on by closing the drop box and plagiarism and collusion that is much important much important for this type of course nowadays you may think uh, all research 
now thousand millions of research are available in the internet in your field accounting and finance field once you select the topic google search the general search engine or google scholar or research gate journal article e libraries you can access you can go to the any e library if it is if you know the password uh, freely available you can download any of the articles then you may think no i just copy and paste everything once i find that uh, once you find uh, the uh, the the, uh, the same topic internet available you just copy and paste and say that ah, is my my one you copy you may think that if you can copy that everyone can copy everyone have access then i go to the i just type that your words into the internet and i find that uh, you copied some others document you are very easy if you can copy the same one i can get it then i can find that you copy it therefore it is called as plagiarism copy and paste you cannot do it for this especially for this research work plagiarism we have now plagiarism Uh, detection softwares but if we find we don't put into the software each and every document but if we find yes now it is subject to plagiarism we put that document into plagiarism software and see whether is a case is a criminal case sometimes that you cannot get the marks sometimes it is you will be finalized for other marks too therefore don't do it one ethically don't do it copy and paste because you are research student you are master level student not undergraduate you should improve your knowledge you should improve your knowledge you are still in the young young age you you have to do lot of work next uh, couple of 20 25 years you have to work to the country and the world by doing some work you can learn something by doing this this you can learn you can improve so this is the very first day i just uh, give you some advices because you may realize at the end of the 15th week at the end of the 15 16 week we will have a progress review meeting like that after the first semester the second semester we have that grand progress review meeting then that meeting the last two years we all students say no we have improved our skills and we have improved our research work research skills and by doing this subject we improve our knowledge and now we can face any problems in our organization and we can talk with our organization and we will take that uh, Uh, the next promotion and that's that's very good uh, improve in our knowledge therefore do that do this type of research work and this is your work not my work therefore by doing work you you should, you yourself improve therefore don't copy and paste but there are some activities i encourage you to do copy and paste some activities i remember that activity 2 or 3 it is completely copy and paste i ask you to copy and paste but you have to very carefully copy and paste then you are you don't do anything your words i ask i encourage you to copy and paste that work you do it otherwise others don't do it. but if i say that don't copy and paste then you may ask that how we do the literature review sometimes that we have to collect ideas from others and copy their ideas to my document then 
how we do it. No, there's a way of acknowledge the other research work. And I will teach you how to do it. There's a way. Because once you, while doing the, the research work or research, 50% of that research is not yours. Your one is only the balance 50. 50% 50 from others' work. 50 or 55 others' work. Only the 45 yours. Analyzing part and the findings are yours. All other literature, introduction and other parts from others. Others did on your research topic. But you cannot copy and paste to that 55. There's a way of writing, way of academic writing. I will teach you how to do it later on. Therefore, you cannot, sometimes that you may have to direct copy and paste. But you have to acknowledge from where you copy it this particular parts and which article that idea is available that is not plagiarism plagiarism is not completely copy if you do not acknowledge the research that is called the plagiarism therefore you are allowed to get the ideas from others you are allowed to get ideas from others, but you have to show the sources, acknowledge the sources. And another commonly reported assessment offense is collusion. The collusion means individual work between two or more, you is collusion. Sometimes, once I ask you to select the topic in the class, you copy from the other's work, your friend's work. Your friend will submit the document to you. Dear friend, please, please read it and give your comments. Sometimes, you, as a friend, you just submit that your document to your friend and say that please uh, go through my documents and see whether that any cor any correction please comment on what the friend does he submit the document to the his drop box and say sir i have submitted but this is not your one yeah the friend's document that will happen and also sometimes that uh, you contact the last year student and say now give me your assignment that is school school assignment system the school boys and girls now they do that type of work they go to the high, high school the grade 13 students and say what you submitted is there any any submissions in the teachers cupboard if you open the teachers cupboard and see oh, a lot of assignments are available take one assignment and just just uh, remove that first page and just put your name and submit yes. that type of work don't do it for research and there is also will be punished and uh, uh, plagiarism and collusion be care carefully handle uh, and don't do it. To avoid either of these offenses, that is plagiarism and collusion, never cut and paste from the resource into your own work. Cut and paste are not allowed. And always give the author's name and year publication in the text Every time you use information from the above, plus a full citation in the references list at the end. 
in text citations and full reference to full reference list at the end is important there's a way of writing in text citation i will teach you later and also rep prepare references list sometimes you may think it is very very difficult to prepare references list if you prepare references list manually don't do it manually don't do it manually i will teach you that software is available in not software is very much popular if you have in not software it is very easy to manage your citations one the second if software is uh not available for you you can you can buy it this really no you have to pay something to pay for this software and not software i don't know whether that's freely available in the net but however if in not software is not available for you the facilities are available for word document word document i will show you later on Uh, where is it available and now after 2007 word once you open the uh, the word document the references how to manage the references that is available therefore you start the work references with the by using the technology don't do it manually it will take no more time waste in your time if you start manually waste in your time and not nice not neat that uh, you can uh, prepare your own manage your own citations and references list by using the software so the uh, the technology and never allow other student to use your work share your work with others you just discuss with your friend but don't share then i will sometimes that i will have to engage to i to identify which one is yours and which one is others never copy from other student assignment never copy from previous year assignment is i i have mentioned never copy from assignment at other universities or other modules never use internet as a cheat sites don't don't uh, don't take that uh, the definitions and writings available in wikipedia wikipedia is not a journal uh, recognized website for research work academic work therefore don't take that some student i have seen they cited wikipedia as a journal references don't take wikipedia is not a uh, recognized site for academic work never copy books articles newspaper without full at attribution never copy material from internet from any other source whatsoever to avoid the plagiarism and if you have doubt contact your lecturer and discussion forums i will open the discussion forum then uh, you can discuss with your friends and see if you have small problems you can discuss with your friends
okay that the preliminary works that i have to explain Okay, this is the student as, uh, assessment guide. Those are actually that I explained to you. OV was the assignment, assignment one is ten percent mark. Portfolio activities. Assignment two, literature review. That there are five activities and. The literature review 10 percent. It is uh, due date is 18th December. Assignment three conceptual framework due date is 27th of December. After that, uh, present individual presentations and final research report 40 percent. And final research proposal is 5,000 word. Then at least twenty twenty five uh, uh, twenty twenty five pages. Then format in the literature review five thousand words. Format in the reference would be in Harvard style. Figures and tables in the body of the text. Cover, should, uh, cover sheet include title of the review, module name, your supervisor, your student number, word count. Do not, uh, do not use any artwork. Sometimes you may put that flower bouquets, pictures, your photograph. Don't put it. That is very, 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 very difficult to open the document in the net. And also, always that you have to write in academic style. Your writing is much important. I will teach you. Don't worry. Because that even though that you have some experience in working and experience in writing the English, you should improve your academic writing. Academic writing is different from the normal writing. Sometimes that the examination we have seen that your writing is to be improved. To be improved. Therefore, by reading the article, definitely you can improve your academic writing. Carefully read the article. How they write. How they write that abstract. A lot of articles are available. By, by reading sentence by sentence, paragraph by paragraph, you may improve your academic writing. You try to follow their styles. Don't always try to follow that your own style that you have followed so far. That is different. You read carefully how they write how they summarize, how they write abstract, how they argue, these are much important. Simply, carefully read, then you can improve your English too. This English, you have to write in English, the whole document, therefore you should improve your, uh, the language too. Therefore, now, very first uh, assignment and second assignment, one by one I take and see whether that you improved or not. Once you submit that first activity, I take one by one and show you the weaknesses. The main weaknesses is 
you write that very very big sentences very very all student i know but you see that my articles my lot of articles are available in the internet just write that uh, google scholar go to the google scholar and just type it my name and the all articles are available and go to the e library our e library all research library in our library in our kalani university library lot of research articles are available under my name or and other researchers when you carefully read it sometimes you may want you may want to show your uh, the show your english knowledge by writing the big sentences and 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 and, and. big sentences but small sentences are very good everyone can understand if you want to put that n n n start that next sentence i put n again and again i just advise you write very short sentence you can develop it other other the readers will not laugh to you uh, you don't have you don't have much knowledge of english therefore you write very short sentence no if everyone can understand they may say that yes the writing is very good therefore don't write that very big sentences is a common mistake that you made you make each and every students undergraduate as well as postgraduate supply at the beginning but after the guidings you may improve your knowledge then you write that very short sentences very short sentences you see that uh, the researchers in uk or australia or usa how they write they write very short sentences yeah, but uh, their vocabulary is very high but they use that very big uh, we, uh, sometimes that we cannot understand that some the understand the some the wordings but anyway there the sentence is very short you you see that your sentence is very big you don't write big sentences manage it short sentences and this is the second sheet third sheet fourth page and all the, this document is always uh, available in the lms therefore download it read carefully when you start your writing of your final report i'll explain you later all one by one but it is now available therefore don't worry Uh, the introduction 500 words literature review 2000 word methodology 2000 word expected outcome and contribution 500 words references everything you can manage it and as i said no final examinations okay come back to the lms page okay now so far i have explained to you course outline student assessment guide and overall guidelines and next one is portfolio activity format portfolio activity this is the activity format you should follow it you have to do five activities
five activities and marking uh, criteria also available is there no once you submit that first activity is there evidence that student has failed to properly engage with the activity is there evidence poor understanding as a result of limited defect only three marks is the portfolio activity completed a stack that allows to demonstrate intent skill basic level of understanding three to five marks some knowledge 5 to 7 mark and if you, are, you have very good knowledge 7 to 10 marks okay is the marking scheme then i will give you the marks and you know that where you are in and also very much important now this one before submitting that you, before submit your document to before upload that your document uh, to the drop box you have to save your files according to this this pa1 pa1 means portfolio activity 1 once you submit that pa1 you should submit pa1 to the pa1 drop box pa1 pa2 pa3 for for 5 portfolio activity 1 then again there is assignment assignment 2 uh, that means a2 assignment 2 embus 2016 that your number comes as embus 2016 or oh, yes embus 2016 xxx means that your number don't write that xxx and save the document and sub, uh, the upload it it is very easy to download the document don't write any your names or any other your sometimes you may write that all topics big sentence in the uh, the, uh, the the name of the document don't write that any name pa1 the embus 2016 Yes, yes. Save the document and upload it. And use these formats. Formats are available for for activity one. Identify the research topic. Now this is the assignment one, activity one. Assignment one, activity one. Today, what you have to do to be completed after lecture one. Due in following week. Use in variety of news sources, papers, website. Identify four four contemporary topics. You have to identify four contemporary topics that you believe are important issues that are related to your business. For each highlight, you have to select. four topics four topics because it is very first time so you cannot select that only one topic therefore you select that four topics then next week i will come and tell you this topic is much important this is very much important this is you can do this research work or not or something like some something like that therefore select four topics and highlight why you believe it is to be important you have to write few sentences two three sentences or five sentences or one paragraph it doesn't matter by using sources citations citations why it is important evidence you have worked with academic literature where appropriate if you feel that uh, 
academic sources you have to get it. one topic write something second topic write something third topic write something fourth topic but you cannot write that you are on the you are on thinking it is very difficult it is very difficult you have to download the at least five six articles it is very easy you can download all in five six ten articles within five minutes but you have to select one area first uh, yes i do my research work on accounting standards then download the accounting standard uh, related uh, research work and see whether the what type of research they did it and after that you select the topic otherwise you think ah oh yes i do this research no don't think and you select that your own area and download few articles and select the topic and four select that's why i asked that for four four topics because out of four that later on you select uh, only two out of four then finally you select one out of four okay therefore use this format and submit it the all activity to all formats are available i don't uh, talk with you that four or five activities because we need uh, only next week only we need only one therefore download this formats write this uh, according to this format and only a4 a4 page a4 type uh, a4 page is enough for activity one activity four topics write few words only a4 page is a, that means that 350 words or 500 words is enough for all activity it is very simple that's it okay now that's all over my introduction now we'll take that uh, few breaks for tea and just think about that what you have to do and come back uh, 10 minutes time after tea and discuss with you the theoretical part and how to write assignment 1 assignment 1 activity 1 okay thank you very much and we'll come back on 10 minutes time okay come back to the lecture now so far we have discuss that overall overview of that course unit as well as the student uh, assessment guide and portfolio activity format and portfolio activity format is much important for you now even at the tea time you may have you yourself ask that how to do your the activity and how to do your uh the activity one you may think but before jump to your topic what you have to do is uh you have to think about that the area of your which area you select at the beginning it may be accounting and fine accounting or finance or or anyway Uh, the, from the accounting you go to the other part accounting standards or finance uh, or share, uh, share market or finance uh, financial efficiency of the financial institutions or uh, or something like that area you have to select then after selecting the area you go to the google search and 
e-library, Kalaniya University e-library. Kalaniya University e-library. Just go to the library. Go to the library and go to the electronic resources. Full tech da databases are available. EBSCO OST is available. Search EBSCO. MRL database is available. Sage Research Method Online Library, Oxford University Press. All these things are available. You, you cannot go to uh, EBSCO databases. Once you select, go to the EBSCO databases, but for any, uh, you ask user ID and password. Therefore, you need to get that user ID and password, your coordinator, and she will give you the EBSCO uh, username and password. For library username and password, without any charges and uh, for emerald uh, insight see that the accounting and cross uh, journal and books accounting and finance you can uh, find a lot of articles I will Okay. And also that uh, some journals uh, of business and management accounting are available. Corporate finance, some articles are available. Few articles are available in LMS page. You can download it. Journal of Economics and Management Accounting Journal articles. Few journal articles are available. You can download it. Or generally, you can go to the Google uh, Scholar and uh, Research Gate. Research Gate. And in our e library, the all postgraduate students, e depository uh, system is available. Under that, there are more than thousands of articles are available. The, all these things, one, 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 first, you select that your area, try to download at least five, ten articles. Otherwise, don't start writing. Once you download the article, read it carefully, free, free time, you are very busy, I know that uh, you always you are busy, but you take time and read it. Once you complete the reading, two, three articles, you may have some, yeah, this, this is the, my work, this is the area that I want to do this research. So by reading one article, you may have, uh, if you have time, that you you are interesting to read that another two, three articles. That's the way of the pattern, thinking pattern. 
then write down your uh, findings, the author, everything, because that is much important for your future work. Then again, uh, I just tell you that uh, in text citations, and references list how to Now, this is the word, this is a work, word document. This is a word document. Now, you see that uh, in the window there is a references. Icon references. Under that, Insert citations, bibliography, manage Joseph, style, APA. Now, normally in uh, Kalania University, applied APA or system or Harvard system. Not much difference. Those methods are similar. Therefore, once you read the article or select the article and what you have to do is insert citation into your document. This is the insert citation. Go to the insert citation. This is a credit of sources of information by citing the book, article, or material comes from. You can choose them from list of saved services. Now go to the insert citation. Then add new sources. Add new sources. Then you will find this type of window and select that your article is journal article. Now it is a journal article. Okay. Now you just write that uh, the journal article author's name. Author's name. You just write the author's name is Dayamaha. A. Sorry. Ratna Jaya Maha. Is a corporate author or corporate author means that uh, is an institution. Otherwise, just write that Jaya Maha. Title. Title of the research. Efficiency of Banks in Sri Lanka. Journal name. Journal of Accounting. All this information available in the your journal article. Year. 2015. Pages 101 to 110. Okay, now you enter everything, then said OK. Right? Now go back to the insert citation. Now it is available now. It is available now. Then enter another one, add another sources, journal article. Srimal Pereira, title. You 
usage of accounting standards journal name journal of finance year 2010 pages 52 56 okay right now you can see that all three two articles are already same that's enough now you are writing now you are writing efficiency of bank in Sri Lanka is much important today. Right now, you extracted this idea from my research. I am a hard research. Then you have to cite it here. Then what you have to do is now after writing this sentence, you want to. acknowledge this idea you taken from this research article now it is available you just click it this research article ah. it automatically comes full stop now you see that your old idea jaima 2015 it's automatically come if you write manually you have to write with in bracket jaima comma 2015 now it is already there No need to write that uh, the full name. Only the surname and the year is enough. This automatically comes. Don't worry. But when you are when you are typing, you type the Arya Ratna Jaya Maha. But here, this only the surname comes. Now again, you have to write something. You write something, and and again, you want to write here. This idea comes from the second one, three month. No, Pereira comes. Full stop. This automatically comes. This is called the in-text citations. In-text cite. but the after writing you want to complete that your list of references list of references and if you do manually you have to write that all details and again and again and again and don't don't worry that if you want to now you have complete your document now you want to write here the list of references you use in your document you have to to citations then go go to the bibliography and select that bibliography click it then there are a lot of uh, the styles you select the references and automatically comes references you see that jayama a 2015 evidence bank on sri lanka journal of article page number 111 pereira Because that you use that only two citations, then all the citations comes to you. Okay, now it is very easy, very easy. But we'll see that two authors document. Now we enter that uh, in-text citations. at news news sources journal article author hilary silva and Sama 
அன்பாண்டார் டைட்டில் okay now there is a two, uh, one author in this article therefore you have to write that uh, the surname of the author and the year if there is a two authors you have to write the two names two surnames and the year okay now you want to write here the two authors name after this one these the two authors in here you see that what happened oh, this in box this ah yes this should be corporate author corporate author then however the writing style is wrong therefore you have to edit it journal article operate author this should be in and should be here now you see yes if there's two authors what you have to write is uh, it should be corporate author if you want to edit it what you have uh, entered you go to the manager sources and edit it all facilities are available then carefully you have to write that the uh, names otherwise that it doesn't come to
Yeah, you try to. There are a lot of facilities are available. I just uh, touch you sometimes that uh, because I use that my own software. I don't use this one. Therefore, I don't know exactly the facilities, but I just uh, touch you that day by day you can improve and learn it. This is the simple, simple way. And also when you are writing at the end, this way is correct. But when you are writing, this is the idea you exacted, uh, extracted from this. Then once you, you can anytime you can update your references list. Update your references list and you can delete anytime this references and update it anytime whatever your facilities are available therefore all these things by using you can improve day by day and for when you are writing this at the end you have to write uh, the idea and within bracket jayamaha comma 2015 but sometimes you may have to start with the author's idea for example now after finishing this you start with uh, according to according to the other article then in 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 middle of the sentence you have to write that in text citation then what you had to do you start the sentence according to now this idea comes from the silva then go to there and so select it Pereira 2010 and blah 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 now this is wrong according to when you are writing the in-text citation that you are the name only the year should be within bracket and name should be out of the brackets name should be out of the bracket therefore you have to out Pereira only the name should be in the bracket therefore according to the Pereira 2010 edit citation go to the edit citation then you need author so fresh author You have to Ah, yes. According to the, the this is the way of uh, in, in, when you write in the in-text citation in, in, in between the sentence in middle of the sentence, but you had to write according to Pereira only within brackets 2010. Okay. Then how do you uh, change this pattern? Go there and you can select that. Uh, edit citation and you need to put that year only therefore author and you just tick author and title suppress author and title then okay then comes like this
just i show you that uh, the facility this is the this is not the research methodology this is the facility is available in the word document therefore you do it and day by day you improve your uh, knowledge okay i just uh, i just i just want to tell you if there is one author you have to write in this way if there are two authors you have to write in jayama and silva 2015 if there is more than three authors more than three authors if three authors jayama kama pereira and silva 2015 if no more than three authors only the first name first author's name and et al e t a l it automatically comes when you enter here there are more than three authors uh, it automatically comes jayama et al e t a l t dot 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 it automatically comes when you enter it that is the way of uh, writing in text citations okay but references list when you update the references list every time any format you can take is automatically comes therefore don't take don't waste your time to prepare references list prepare bibliography and other things is you can use facilities are available free of charge i do i don't think that you use this type of uh, uh facility when you are writing the research work sometimes you may have, you may use this facility first time anyway it is very easy work very easy get practice it then it is very easy for you okay this is uh, a text references okay now again another thing is now the first assignment as i said i don't start that other the detail work uh, to discuss today what you have to do is you have to submit uh, assignment 1 activity 1 assignment 1 activity 1 then after submitting i will take one by one and discuss with you now when you are writing now you can select the topic for example now you select the deficiency of uh, the commercial banks in sri lanka that topic and topic once you select the topic you have to write few sentences why you select this topic sometimes you may say now yeah, i am working in the bank therefore i know that there is a problem this is not the that is not a pro- that is emphasizing that uh, the problem you have to say why there is a problem in why you study why you do this study what is the important the current situ- currently why it is important that you have to write at least two three sentences you have to write but be careful now when you are writing sentences always the each and every sentences you have to justify you have to justify with 
references citation for example now you are writing the sentences say now kalania university has six faculties six academic faculties we cannot believe that sentence you cannot write no how do you know that kalania university has six faculties there are six faculties in the kalania university just full stop no we cannot believe we cannot believe how do you know exactly i know that you refer some where or kalania university website or kalania university handbook or some program handbook or university handbook prospectus or some where Otherwise, you don't know. How do you know that six faculties in the Kalani University? No one knows. Without referring that uh, one uh, article, one document. Therefore, you cannot write that vague sentences. I discuss one by one. The at the next class. Sometimes you may just write the sentences. without you may think that it assume yes i know everyone knows this one is okay no even everyone knows that this one is okay you have to justify and say yes i have extracted this idea from this research article this the book textbook even we you all know that common concepts management concept accounting concept accounting standards work everyone knows but you have to refer therefore don't write that just sentence it for introductory part introductory part it is very carefully you have to write that one sentence by sentence by sentence even you cannot write that one sentence without citation it is very much important one paragraph two three one paragraph that includes at least two three citations two three citations without citations you cannot write no one believe you no one believes you because one is that then the other the reader will believe the examiner will believe yes you read an article one and second one is by reading you improve you you prove justify that the meaning of that particular work therefore very carefully you select the topic and write that very few words at least four sentences for each under each four sentences and justify not only for one article not only for one citation that is not enough you i know that you go to you go to the one one uh, you download one article and get that idea from one article and write it no that's not enough therefore even you have you have written that four sentences that includes two three citations then there's a validity there's a validity of your justification introduction okay these are much important uh, i don't uh, talk about much more today that's enough for i think today and you start writing you start writing finish it and next week i take you as your submissions and take one by one don't worry that uh, i will not laugh to your uh, the writings i want to improve your writing and i just open now for dropbox for this is not a uh, correct drop box just drop box for activity 1 draft 
I say draft, draft. Okay? Because the very first time that sometimes you cannot write. Therefore, this is not a marking purposes. I just open a drop box now. Just for draft. Activity one draft. Then after uh, the next week I delete it. For marking purposes, I open again the second week as a correct drop box. Okay. This week one there should be a drop box now. This is for draft for improving your activity one. Okay. Then that's enough today. And also if there's any questions now you can ask. For online viewers, uh, please ask. Yeah, any questions? Any any questions from the classroom? No. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see that uh, your first submission next Sunday morning. And we'll see that how you got my idea. Thank you.